Lucy Chicago is a New Mexico artist who's extremely talented, and now you can see her work in the New Mexico Museum of Art. Let's go talk to her. Okay, so I wanted to start with Kitty City. Um, are you a cat person? Is that why you chose cats? Or why didn't you choose a different animal? Well, because I've lived with cats since I was 21. Yes, I am mad for cats. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I did Kitty City, my husband, photographer Donald Woodman, and I had six cats when we started, each of whom had a very distinct personality. Mm -hmm. Like this was Inca, she had an eating disorder. Okay. She used to fall asleep with her head in the food bowl. Oh. Anyway, so I, I just, because I had lived with them all my life, I realized, you know, I love cats. I would rescue every cat on earth if I could. And, but I didn't know that much about them. So I started out investigating. I mean, it was fascinating. I didn't set out to spend five years on it, but it <laughs> took five years because yeah. first of all, as I said before, they don't pose. Yeah. And also, I wanted to give an insight into a day in the life of our household. It's, it, it goes all over the spectrum. So you talk about cats, but you also talk about the Holocaust. And you make sure that you, have, you know a lot about the Holocaust. Well, when I first came to New Mexico, I came here to work on Power Play, which is the first large ser series that are, that's represented here. Mm -hmm. And when I was finishing Power Play, I went to a party in Santa Fe where I ran into a poet I knew and he had just done a whole long poem on the subject of the Holocaust. Okay. And I just realized that there was this whole world I knew nothing about. So Donald and I set out to educate ourselves. Again, we did not imagine that we were going to spend eight years on the subject of the Holocaust, yeah. but we did. Yeah. And so, some people would say that a lot of your artwork is controversial. Why did you decide to go that route? Well, it's not controversial to me. Exactly, I just, yeah. I mean, I just, that's other people's perceptions. I mean, I just have tried to follow the path of what has interested me. Mm -hmm. And it has taken me places I never anticipated. And I've tried to share what I've learned. And if people find it controversial, Hey. Hey. <laughs> That's your opinion. Yeah. You know, but it's funny because, you know, it used to be the dinner party was considered controversial, mm -hmm. but now nobody thinks the dinner party is controversial yeah. anymore. You know, that's yeah, like you're all paving the news. way. There, yeah, that's mm -hmm. a better. That's a better. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah. that better. So, how has New Mexico influenced your artwork? Well, first of all, New Mexico has provided me the first home of my own I ever had. I never lived in a house of my own and neither did my parents. We lived in apartments. And okay. it was because of my husband, Donald Woodman. After we finished the Holocaust Project, he said, we have to have a, lo a house of our own. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I had no idea that what that was going to involve. But we bought an old railroad hotel in Berlin called okay. the Berlin Hotel. It's a historic building. Okay. And it's not very far from the Las Lunas Hill. Berlin is right next door to Las Lunas. Mm -hmm. and Donald, it took three years for Donald to renovate and restore the hotel, and we moved in in 1996. At which point I decided I wanted to learn watercolor. Okay. So I taught myself watercolor. I actually enrolled in a class at UNM Valencia. Not that many artists use the amount of materials that you Different use. Different techniques. Like you're, I mean, you're not just a painter. You really do it all pretty much. The reason I've used so many different media mm -hmm. is because I've had a lot of different things to say and different techniques allow different forms of expression. Yes. And so what I've done is I've looked for the best way to express what I have to say and then I figured out or learned the technique. If you want to catch some of Judy Chicago's work or if you want to just find out more about her just go to casa.com and click on the style tab.